to be uh, more dominant, we compete to more dominant this river uh, and identify the river and each item which we be Assalamualaikum in this video you will see the flood simulation and the flood simulation uh, you uh, can see the flood effect when a rain uh, is coming on earth and the streams are filled with water and then in result of flooding so you can see in this video the flood simulation after after reading this video you will learn that how flood is uh, coming Now go to shape pile. First, <coughs> then in this uh, create new shape pile. We the name is D1 is water, and then after that the type of feature is polygon. Then the coordinate system will change to WGS 1984. Okay. Okay. data and a water one shape then you will see in table of contents water one in the if you change the color then you can change Color, so this one will be okay. <coughs> now go to 3D later and after that. Catalog window and uh, take that uh, water one shape and uh, type of polygon. And here you can see that this area is a, a type of polygon. So we will uh, by polygon we take it. Save it and stop it after that. Come to SRTM file, projected SRTM. And then the clear properties, uh, we will change that floating on a custom surface. And factor of converter, uh, convert clear, this should be, uh, you can see that if you change this. So you can see the effect of this changing on your uh, this is a very uh, high undulation in this area and uh, this figure will be reduced so uh, the area will be uh, yeah you can see the stream with black color in this SRTM file that uh, black color showed it this is the flooding stream and now animation go to animation 
and animation manager and uh, here and here we will create animation keyframe by this method create now this is a, a js files in which we already draw the class section so here we change the elevations from 392 405 this is a in ascending order from tail to head from low elevation to high elevation from outlet to start of the watershed so you can give the interval as we given in this uh, is a uh, 15 so you can give this type of interval in your and then you can see the result at how much the flood effect is a now start editing 3d editor animation go to animation and play button then play then you can see the effect of flood if water is come and in huge amount then the area will affected and you can see in this the sides of streams are filled with water and these are uh, upcoming and the area near to this stream will be affected now you can change this uh, in different interval if this area the lowest is 350 and the after that the uh, here is interval is 25 so you can give uh, each point by rise to uh, uh, in addition of 25 so this will be four uh, you can change if uh, in different interval also so now you uh, play this type of interval uh, so you can see that the effect of flood is uh, shown in this SRTM file and this is actually the uh, earth uh, in which stream is filled with water and the area affected now you can <coughs> change uh, interval as uh, that the effect is uh, slowly because the flood is not in uh, five seconds or ten seconds it will be, it will take some time so if you increase the interval so uh, in, uh, we will decrease the interval uh, so you can see that the effect will be slowly and the streams now the interval is uh, uh, 10 and 20 and different intervals you can these are not uh, uh, self given it is the elevation on ground so we uh, give different points now you can see in this uh, animation that flood is uh, coming and the area is affected on both side of the river and streams and this will show uh, in future uh, that this area will be affected from flood if flood is coming now change and